So if you're trying to do a mosaic on your floor and you wanna do something a little bit artsy, a little bit different, but that's not going to take forever for you to finish, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful mosaic piece on the floor for an entryway into our converted garage. Let's go. All right, so these are a few of the equipment pieces that you will need whenever you're doing a mosaic tile on the floor like this. First, you need premium mortar. That's a must. I like this spatula a lot for making these indentations here. If you can tell that it has, see how this line, there are lines there that helps to make all of these pieces stick more effectively. So you wanna look for something that has this indentation, these little claw areas, and that will help a lot. Premium tile mortar, mortar this is what I use. There's a ton of it in here still. You can see, really easy, pre-mixed, ready for you to use grout. Now, you can find a ton of grout at Lowe's, at Home Depot. This one I actually found at Hobby Lobby because it's a powdered grout and I wanted to have something that was specific for these tiles. And I also didn't need a ton of grout. So, sponge is really important for that. I'll show you how to grout over all of this and why you need the sponge whenever you're cleaning and then you're also gonna need another little piece here. This one doesn't have the claw marks or indentations, the teeth marks, so I like it a lot. And of course, if you're gonna do tiles like I did, these tiny little ones, you're gonna want some classic tiles. I got those from Hobby Lobby. But if you're looking for something similar to Backsplash, you might wanna look at Home Depot or Lowe's. This is what I used for the border. It was really helpful. And we're gonna use transition pieces lined here. You can see that the wood will go here for the transition and it will cover some of this part. I'm still going to grout all the way along it, but it'll make it a lot easier. The nice thing about this container is that it comes in a little spot like that. So it's your mixing bowl already and you can just add water as needed. reminder that you can always add more water so make sure you just use little bits of water at a time until you get the consistency that you want for the grout you need to be kind of quick because the grout will set let's go let's start let's work our way You want to make sure it's a thin layer so what i have found really works for me is using a sponge like this one make sure we really get it into all those grooves down here you don't want too much but you want it to get into all of there so we're going to be spreading it around you wait 15 to 30 minutes this is the color that you're wanting it to be when it's time to take that off this is still a little bit too wet. You can see the difference on the fingers here. And if you can see here, how it dried, it's clear. It looks so good. Yeah, so I decided to epoxy this. I really wanted the resin so you could walk on it without it, without getting any type of jarring or like, I guess, liability really if someone were to stub their toe or anything like that. Don was super worried. Wow, it looks amazing. Hoda, you see what it is? Do you think it's cool? Come look at it. So cool. What do you think?